Hello everybody and welcome to your 7th uh, C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about if statements. Okay, so to start off by saying uh, computers are stupid. Computers are, are really dumb. Computers don't do what, like compu computers only do what you tell them to do. Like you are the smart ones. Everybody that programs Everybody that's making a program, you guys are the smart ones. The computers are stupid. They do, they only follow directly what you do. They don't do anything else. Even if you want to do something, it can't do anything, right? So it's up to us to define the uh, the decisions or l let us know or t how to tell the computer how to make certain decisions, okay? And how we tell them to do that is with if statements, if and else if statements, okay? So, uh, how does this work? Okay, so uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, we're going to be uh, doing a little program. Okay, so we're going to let's see, we're going to get uh, a grade. Okay, we're gonna have a variable called a uh, grade. So. Or whatever what grade you got in school whatever in one one class whatever right and okay so over here in Canada uh, for high school uh, a D is anything between 50% and uh, an F is anything below 50% uh, a D is between uh, 50 to 60% uh, a C no 50 and 59 C is 60 to 69 uh, a B is from 70 to 79 and A is from 80 to 89 and A plus or oh, well like an A is from like 80 to 100 right so uh what we're going to be doing is we're going to get the user to input their grade or whatever they got in any class and what we're going to do is that we're going to determine what um what letter grade they got from the percentage that they input when they what they put in so what we're gonna uh, do is we're gonna say input your your mark or whatever and percent or whatever okay so we'll put a colon there space okay so they're gonna input their grade so now we have to let the uh, computer make decisions okay so uh, this is how uh, computers make decisions there's a bunch of conditional uh, operators when it comes to C++ there is like uh, two and percents mean and uh, there's or there's not sorry there's not there's not equals there's equals there, there's a bunch of, of different ones right a bunch of different conditional operators uh, more than I'm gonna go through in this uh, tutorial but uh, we're going to be going through a few today okay so uh first of all we're gonna go through equals okay so what what a conditional operator does is that you have a left and a right side so you know in math how they say uh prove how uh they'll say like um five five minus five equals zero and they ask you to do proofs and you have to say like left side is equal to right side and do all that stuff basically that's how if um, statements do uh, if statements are so we have a left side we have the condition that the right side has to meet and if it meets that condition if that statement if that condition is true then it runs the if statement if it isn't then it doesn't run the if statement okay so this is how it's gonna work, and this this tutorial might be divided into two tutorials just to explain it all. So, anyways, we're gonna do grade. So if we ever want to compare something, uh, the, the, we know. Remember how we had variables and we could say something like like number one would be equal to whatever. Uh, that's an assignment operator, right? So we can't say like if grade is equal to something else and do it whatever, because what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna set grade equal to that value. That's an assignment operator. For this, we want a conditional operator. And a conditional operator compares the two sides. So we're going to say if grade is equal to 50, right? So this is the left side and this is the right side. So if this is, is equal to 50, then we do whatever's in the if statement. Now remember how we had the opening brace and the closing brace? 
this is important for if statements. If we don't have an opening and closing brace, then if this statement is true, it's only going to call the statement that is directly below it or the statement that is below it. So the next statement. So for example, so if grade is equal to 50, then it will call system pause, right? If it's not, then it wouldn't call, call system pause. If we want to run a lot of things within our if statement, then we use the conditional blocks and I mean we use the opening and closing braces and anything within that will happen if this statement is true, okay? So for now, we're only going to be writing one line. So we're going to say that if grade is equal to 50, then we're going to say you fail. No, or you almost failed. Okay, so uh, let us run this program to see if this works. So right now, they're going to say input your grade. and I'm going to input the grade 50. So notice it said you almost failed. Okay, so let's see if I don't put in 50. So if I run this one more time and I say put in 60, nothing else happens. Okay, so that's what happens. It compares to see if a grade is equal to 50. So now, and you notice in math how we have the greater than or we have the less than symbol. It's the same thing. So we can say that if the grade is less than 50 then it uh no if we say that it's greater than 50 we could say whatever and if it's less than whatever blah 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 so we're gonna check if it's greater than 50 so if we type in 50 nothing happens but if we type in 51 it says you almost failed which is well, yeah whatever so say you want to include 50 in that as well we can say if it's greater than or equal to right so if the grade is greater than or equal to 50 then it will display that message okay so i'm going to type in 50 it displays it if i put anything greater than 50 it displays it if i put anything less than 50 it doesn't do anything so that's a condition as well so we could say we also have different um, uh, operators like and and we have conditions so say you want to uh, uh, compare two things so we're gonna say if greatest e greatest equal to 50 we have these two symbols right here so that means or okay and uh, on my keyboard that is beside uh, if you see where the colons are it's right there uh, where the where the backslash is and all I have to do is hold shift and, and click it I'm not sure where, it's, where it is on your keyboard but it should be around there so it says if grade is equal to 50 or grade uh, or grade is greater than or equal to 100 I don't know okay so we're gonna put that in so it's gonna be either is the grade is equal to 50 or if it's greater than 100 then uh, it will display that so for example if I just if I put in the value 51 nothing happens if I put in the value 50 it displays it if I put in 100 it displays it so if if any of these statements are true or both of them it doesn't matter only one of the statements has to be true in order to run this statement below okay now we have the and now we we all know that this statement can't be true it can't be great can't be equal to 50 and greater than or equal to 100 uh so whatever we'll say and greater than or equal to 50 okay so these statements both have to be true in order for this to happen right so only if we put the value 50 then it will actually run so if i put in the value 51 uh if you put it like this it doesn't work see this statement's true but this statement this statement on the left is not true so therefore we run into an error uh so that we no, not an error but this uh, this statement does not get executed okay so uh with the and if you want to have a lot of things true then you have to incorporate that as well okay uh so let's see what else that we we got to do so the last one is the last one we're going to be in showing you i'm showing you the main ones that you're going to use next one is not okay so we normally say that uh we normally do with like not equal to or blah 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 or like if it is a boolean variable if we say it's not uh for example if we have if grade is a boolean and it's equal to 
true if we have the not symbol we say not grade it's meaning it's checking to see if grade is equal to false or yeah etc etc that's what it means okay uh, but uh, let me just change everything back but for this we're gonna say if grade is not equal not equal to 50 and uh, grade is uh, greater than or equal to 50 greater than 50 uh, then we'll say you passed or whatever so let's run this so uh, if it is 50 so it checks for if it is not 50 so for this one uh, this is equal to 50 and no sorry I should put greater than or equal to for a better demonstration right so for this one if I say 50 it doesn't run because the grade is equal is is equal to 50 but we want to check to see if grade is not equal to 50 okay so therefore we have to put a value that is greater than 50 and if we do it says you passed so that's it for conditional operators we will be doing a next tutorial on this and hopefully you enjoy this so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and bye